I don't know how to achieve collective liberation, in which we're all striving for, but, I mean, I think it all needs to happen at the same time. And, you know, we're here making a stand, we're holding space. To make people conscious, because people are in their houses, comfortable, as long as they have food or they have a house, they don't, like, make the effort to demand their rights. And it's about time that people start standing up for a true democracy um, so we can get rid of the corporate greed. The demands um, are problematic and uh, disempowering, actually. Because it's about like, people making things happen rather than expecting like someone else to take care. And you could see this as like a micro-society. It's a model for a new society. It's not a protest in the sense of being against something. Um, it, it's a way to formulate um, something new. A mass awareness, a mass realization, an awakening of the masses to, to, the, to, the, to the obstruction of justice that has been a part of our lives for too long now, for too long of a time. I see corporatism, fascism, crony capitalism. Um, I don't see a free market. I see a police state. I see an American empire. I see 700 military bases in 135 foreign countries. I see 5,000 dead bodies in Iraq. A welfare warfare state, which gives out billions of dollars in foreign aid for dictators to build up huge armies. I see uh, America that's lost its way. Republicrats, Republicans and Democrats, who both pretty much stand for the same thing. I, I do not see true democracy. I do not hear the voice of the people. Um, finally, we've r risen up. Egypt, you know, is the dynamics, is the time right, you know, is it, is it, is it the right moment, is the zeitgeist there? None of these things we can predict. We've seen what happens when people protest and come out and march around for a day. This is an opportunity maybe for a new style, for a new shift in power and the way that people relate to each other. The community we built inside of a concrete jungle of fucking greed and evil yeah. Has somehow created this beautiful, loving, loving community. That's yeah. magic. It's like, community. Yeah. Nobody no, really knows no one knows each other. We've all met here. We came from Canada. We didn't know anyone. Like, we saw a YouTube video and jumped on it. This is the most important thing I could ever dream of being part of, and I feel so blessed to like be part of this. Yeah. This is history. No, this is this is the present. It's a gift. <laughs> It's not history yet, we gotta be patient. We will go over! We will go over! The hand signal! The hand signal! That we use! That we use! During! During! The General Assembly! The General Assembly! I was waiting for this to happen. I knew it would happen because it happened in Europe 
and I knew it would spread. And this is something that I've been going through eternally for a good part of my life now, and to see it externalized in the outside world is really a blessing. It's really something that I enjoy being a part of. I'm working for the revolution. The marches, oh my gosh. I mean, chills and invigoration and um, standing side by side by your fellow humans fighting for a cause together. Well, people are really awesome. People from California all the way straight through to Vermont. It's astonishing, you know, you have kids here, you have 75 year old retirees, you know, it's, it's everyone. First and foremost, altruistic and care for the collective before caring for ourselves. A model should be a growing movement of, of I would say, round table discussions, basically. Um, if you have a ton of student debt, like me, you should be here. Um, if you're pissed off and you, you realize that, you know, if you paid any taxes last year, you paid more taxes than General Electric, the corporation, you should be here. I'd say that we didn't take our cue off of anybody, really. It became a more spontaneous movement. As far as seeing this end, I wouldn't like to see it end.